Anglo-Saxon metalwork was so popular that it was traded all around the globe, particularly during the 7th and 8th centuries. Metal workers used gold, silver, bronze and copper to make armour, weapons, jewellery, ornaments, tools and household items. Some of these had practical uses, while others were decorative and showed off the wealth and rank of the person who owned them. Metalsmiths heated up the metal and hammered it into shape. Then they engraved it with swirling patterns and pictures of animals. The most expensive items were made of gold and were sometimes inlaid with gemstones such as garnet. Both men and women wore jewellery. The simplest kinds had beads made of glass, amber or amethyst. Rich people wore necklaces and bracelets made of gold or silver to demonstrate their status and wealth. Both men and women wore brooches to fasten their dresses or cloaks in place. Men also wore decorative belt buckles. Some of the best examples of Anglo-Saxon metalwork were excavated from the burial site at Sutton Hoo. There, archaeologists found weapons, helmets and lots of jewellery, including necklaces, pendants, rings and earrings. The Staffordshire Hoard was another treasure trove of metalwork. It contained thousands of pieces of jewellery, weapons and armour. One of the most impressive examples of Anglo-Saxon metalwork is the Alfred Jewel. It was made for Alfred the Great, the King of Wessex, and was made from gold, enamel and quartz. It shows just how skilled Anglo-Saxon metalworkers were.